We're going to look at toolpath contour today. First thing we're going to do is machine around the outside of the part. Select the geometry. Now we're going to select the tool. And we're going to set the depth. We're going to go an eighth inch below the bottom of the part. Click the checkbox and your toolpath is now done. The next toolpath we're going to do is what we call remachining. We want to machine where the other tool didn't fit. I'm going to select the geometry again. Pick a smaller tool, 16th end mill. We'll put it on remachining. We'll look at the previous operations. Click the checkbox and those four quarters are now machined. The next toolpath we're going to do is simple contour, go down the center, and we're going to machine that O-ring groove. I'm going to grab a ball head mill, eighth inch, turn off contour type, put it on 2D, turn off comp, turn off your lead in, lead out, then we can plunge straight in, change the depth to the radius of the tool, click the checkbox. The toolpath is now created. Next toolpath, contour. We're going to machine the letters. All we're going to do is put a window around the geometry. It'll cut window fonts, letters, pictures, pretty much anything, any geometry or splines. Pick a chamfering tool. Check out the parameters. Everything looks good. Change the depth to minus 0.02. Letters are now toolpathed. The next toolpath we want to do, we want to chamfer. We pick a chamfering tool, click it, and uh, it actually chamfered around the outside of the part. Put that 30 second chamfer on pretty quickly. Next toolpath we want to do is what called oscillate. Mm -hmm. Just going to do the front of it, say if you had tons of parts. And what this toolpath does is the tool ramps up and down as it follows a profile of the part to use the full flute length. So we put on oscillate, we have two choices, lines at high speed. I'm going to change the depth a little bit. And when we click the checkbox, we'll see it verify better. And you'll see the tool oscillate up and down. Next toolpath we want to do is uh, a ramp toolpath. So we're going to select the top face or edge of the rectangle. We can change the direction if we want to climb below conventional. Pick a tool. Put on a ramp. We have three choices, angle, depth, and plunge. We're using angle. We'll put on one degree. We'll click the top of the rectangle. That's where my tool is going to start. Bottom of the rectangle is where the tool is going to end. Click OK. And it wrapped around it at one degree. Now we're going to go into verify. You can see the tool going around the part. We're just using a simple back plot. Cut around the part, picked up a new tool, and now it's machining those four corners. Knew where the material was automatically. Cutting the O-ring groove, machining the uh, letters, chamfering the top of the part. Can we get to oscillation? Tool is actually retracting and plunging in as it follows a profile mm -hmm. using the full flute link. So if you got a lot of parts, thin material, instead of where to groove, it'll just keep going around like that. This here, we just ramped out the part, and that's pretty much it for toolpath contour.